Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to draw a QQ plot in R. Now sometimes it may be necessary for you to find out if the, any data set that you're using is normally distributed or not. So for example, if you wanted to do some statistical analysis on the data, uh, this would be an important uh, feature to know. So I'm going to um, show you how to do a QQ plot. A QQ stands for quantile quantile quantile, which is a visual representation of whether the data is normally distributed or not. And I'm going to look at a data set that is uh, normally distributed and then a second data set which is not normally distributed to illustrate what we mean here. So our first set of data comes from a study by uh, Sokol and Hunter from 1955. Uh, these researchers measured a 100 housefly wing lengths and a copy of that data is stored in the file 39datafile.csv. Uh, this file and all other files and R scripts in this video series are available on my GitHub, a link to which you'll find uh, in the information section underneath this video on the YouTube page. So first of all, let's go ahead in and re uh, read in this data file. I'm going to take a look at the uh, first six lines of the data file, and we can see that it's just uh, got one variable. There are 100 measurements in this file. I'm just showing the top six. There's um, one variable, and it is called length. So I want to find out if the length variable is normally distributed. So I'm going to do this in two parts uh, using QQ functions. So the first of these is QQ norm. What this will do is I'm going to plot out the um, length wings. I've only got one variable, plot, a dollar sign, um, L-E-N-G-T-H. So I've only got one variable. So let me run that function using QQ norm. And we can see we can get a QQ plot over in the bottom, over in the right bottom right hand corner. Let me zoom in on this. And we can see that it is a fairly diagonal uh, shape on the, to the distribution, indicating that it is normal. Uh, but I'd like to add a line to that just to make sure uh, what I am seeing. So close that down. And the QQ line function, uh, also using the same variable, dollar sign length, use the same variable and this will um, and this will add a line into my uh, diagram you can just about see it in the squashed up version here let's zoom in and i can see now that the data points are all very much either are on or very very close to the diagonal line uh, indicating uh, very strongly that these data are normally distributed and the so called hunter housefly data is known for this so that's um, a QQ plot for a normally distributed set of data. What about if our data is not normal? So let's go then and look at another data set. And this time I'm going to use uh, one of um, um, R's inbuilt data sets. I'm going to use the empty cars data set. So just take a, let's take a look at what's in this. And if I scroll up through the data file here, we can see uh, we've got lots of different variables for the empty cars data set for lots and lots of different cars and i'm going to check on the displacement i want to see if the displacement variable is normally distributed so let's go ahead and do that the same as before qq norm um, data set first empty cars and then dollar sign and there are several uh, variables here uh, disp is the one i want so let's now run this line line 16. we get a new plot over on the right hand side Let's add a line in this as before. So QQ line, again, empty cars, dollar sign, displacement, DISP for short. So now I run these, so add in the line. You can see the line is added in, but we do need to zoom in on it to see it a little bit better. So when we zoom in on this line, we can see that our diagonal is not like the normally distributed data as before. We can see that our points on this are very much kind of S-shaped or snake-shaped, it's sometimes called. Um, because they are uh, very far distributed away from the data set, uh, this indicates that we've got a skew there's a, at, at the right and there's also a skew on the left in this diagram. Um, so our data are uh, very strongly indicated visually here to be not normally distributed. So just using the QQ norm and the QQ line uh, functions allows us to plot a QQ or quantile quantile plot uh, in R. So that's how you draw a QQ plot in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.